What's up everyone, Angelic Vixen here from Lucky by Nature. Today I'm gonna show you um, the Structures Plus Hitching Post. This is incredibly beneficial when you're breeding your dinos. Um, it allows your nearby dinos to be hitched, preventing them from moving even when they're set to wander. So you know how it's a struggle, you always have to build like this little area for your um, dinos so they don't go running around. That's really complicated, especially with big dinos. So the hitching post is incredibly beneficial uh, when it comes to breeding your dinos and keeping them in place and not having to build these elaborate things to keep them from you know running all over the place so that they actually mate. Um, you have to be a level 25 to unlock it, and then to make it, it's actually really cheap. It's only seven fiber, 10 thatch, and 40 wood. This is such a beneficial item that I really do hope out of a lot of the things, you know, the really cool stuff from Structures Plus. This is one of the things that I find that if Wildcard actually adds this, it will make your lives so much easier because I hate, especially with like little dinos, they run around like Jerboas, for instance. I always go back to Jerboas because they're just so overly complicated. Um, they don't go running around where they won't mate. They literally just stay in place. And in this video, I'll actually show you that. So let's uh, look at how this works. All right, so it's a fairly simple process. You place it you know, near the dinos that you want to hitch. And there's not a range, as you can see here. So they have to be reasonably you know, placed. And then how you hitch them is it's not from the actual hitching post. You go to each individual dino and you click on hitch dino. And then you'll see the little uh, rope that attaches to the hitching post. So let me show you here. All right. So now you can see those two are not hitched, but all of the other ones are. And you can see where you have the choice if you can do unhitch dino or hitch dino. And then you can enable wandering and they don't move. I mean, it's just incredible. So none of them move. So you can breed them without any issue whatsoever. There you go, see? Now they're set to wander. Now you can actually leave your dinos just set to wander, like if you're breeding Rexes, and then as soon as they become available to breed again, they will. And you don't have to worry about the eggs because of the hatchery, and that's another video that'll be coming. I'll show you how the hatchery works. All right, so you can see all of them are hitched. All of them are set to wander, and they're not moving. See? See? All right. So you can see. And you can disable, enable. It's really like, and they don't move. You know how sometimes when you disable wandering and then they start just running around, even though they're disabled? Okay. So now let me show you. This one's not hitched. And there you go. That's normal. And see how it's breeding? And then it walks away. And of course, it's not going to stay breeding, see? And then it starts breeding with somebody else. And we always have to create pens for this because of the situation. And it's actually incredibly frustrating. So now let's hitch it and see how far away we can get. Boom, look at that. It doesn't even have to be super close. And you can actually do it in mid-wander as long as you can catch up to it and actually click Hitch Dino. And it'll just stop. So as you can see here, I like to keep my little ones, especially on the hitching post. This is, one of them is hitched and she's not moving. And one of them is not hitched. So I just enabled wander. Now watch, this is normal. You'll, it's immediate, watch. There he goes. Now I've got to chase him around. And I've always had to create, you know, little boxes for my gerboas. There you go. It hitched weird. Let's see if it goes. There it goes. See? Even with distance, as long as you can catch up to it to hitch it, you can stop it. Now, of course, there's distance, and they don't seem to want to mate if there is a you know significant difference. Even though they're hitched, I feel like from my own experience of you know trying this, that they have to be kind of close. Okay? So I'm gonna have to bring the other Jaboa back over, you know, closer. All right, so let me pick him up. Now, when you pick him up, they unhitch, so they'll no longer be hitched. Okay, so I'm gonna drop him. Of course, I disabled the wandering beforehand so he wouldn't run off again. Hitch dino, now he's attached. Enable wandering, okay? 
So now that he's closer, he will meet. It takes, you know, a couple seconds, so be patient. You know, you know, freak out and think, oh, it's not working. So there you go. It really is that simple. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. It is so helpful in making things so much easier. So that's basically the hitching post. It's not very complicated. It's actually overly simplified in my opinion, and it's cheap to make, it's easy to make, and you can make it when you're a lower level. So you can start your breeding process a lot quicker. You can keep your dinos nice and organized where they're not constantly moving around, because I don't know about you, but once I get my dinos, you know, nice and neatly organized, I do not want to have to constantly move them, especially if I'm breeding them. This makes life so much easier in ARC. Um, no more, you know, breeding pens and no more, you know, random little boxes to have to kind of stick your dinos in to keep them in place. I mean, it's small, it's out of the way, and you can keep all of your dinos organized. It's incredible. And I do, I really do hope they add this to official because this is not like so OP that, you know, you can do this, that, and the other. This just makes it so you can keep things nice and neat. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful. And again, you know, looking forward to seeing what Wildcard puts in for the Structures Plus when they actually add it to official. I'm really excited. So until next video, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.